I thought, oh God, not again. I can't do this again. Tabitha Charlton was playing cards with her twin daughters last week when she heard a pipe burst. My ceiling just caved in in their bedroom. I don't know what to do. There was just water shooting out of the ceiling, just shooting down on everything. Now the song and dance with her insurance company, a process she's all too familiar with. Charlton's home also flooded during 2017's Hurricane Harvey. Those claims settled just 12 days ago. When this happened, I walked out my front door and I fell to my knees and I sobbed. Dealing with the insurance company is a nightmare. It is a nightmare. I can deal with the damage that could be fixed, but another three and a half year battle with the insurance company, I don't have it in me. The price tag for this storm could surpass Harvey's $19 billion in insurance losses. The problem many Texans are now facing, getting estimates for their damage. And there's no standardization across insurance policies. The Texas Department of Insurance suggests filing your claims as soon as possible, taking photos of damage, and waiting to make permanent repairs until speaking with the insurance company. Otherwise, they may not pay. How do you put a price tag on what I've spent and my time? As for Charlton, she says she agreed to receive less than half of the more than $300,000 she spent in Harvey repairs, and she still hasn't received a check. I was so close, and now it's all over again. You won't leave. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I honestly don't. We just want our home to be our home and not have to walk through the house, and every time we see something, it's a reminder of years of grief and trauma and fighting. A long road ahead for Tabitha Charlton and so many others. She and her twin daughters are staying with neighbors for now. Janet Shamley and CBS News, Houston.